I heard my mom just start um, basically yelling at me to um, come outside. Um, there are sirens, and I'm like, what? Okay. She had no idea what was about to happen. So I started running out there, and I just saw fire trucks coming. I was like, oh, what? 14-year-old Lorelai Campbell just returned home from the hospital Monday night. She went to the doctor today. She went, took her tests, and she was passed and said that she was cancer free. But not only was the Hodgkin's lymphoma gone, sadly, so was a much anticipated tradition because of the coronavirus threat. At Akron Children's, they usually get to ring a bell and have a lot of people around, and, but because of the fact that of COVID going on, she wasn't able to do that. Were you kind of bummed or were you like, oh, man. I was. I, I wanted to at least be able to ring the bell, I, even though I knew the party wasn't going to happen. Or so she thought until mom and dad made some calls and the party came to Talmadge. More than 40 fire trucks, friends, neighbors, and police parading past their home. What did you think about that parade? I was not expecting that at all. And they just kept coming, waving signs and cheering the teen's courage and strength, bringing a beaming smile to Laura Lai. It cool. was pretty cool. And her mom nearly to tears. It's been hard because you just don't know what's going to happen, but... I knew the light at the end of the tunnel was coming and it was getting brighter. And so here it is, and just to know that she's made it through. And although she will someday still ring that bell, they say these honking horns were a blast and forever in their hearts. Seeing that so many people come together is pretty awesome. Just to show us our love and Lorelai's love for Lorelai. We know a lot of people have been with us through the whole thing. In Talmadge, Suzanne Stratford, Fox 8 News.